the good member from the 20th to move adoption of the amendment. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I move Amendment 1100. It's been moved and seconded. We adopt Amendment 1100 remarks. The good member from the 20th, Representative Abarno. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, this amendment does a number of things um, that modifies the process by which uh, the bill uh, distributes $150 million in rebate to utility rate uh, taxpayers uh, that are promised through the CCA. Um, this would be, you know, the, the, the amount of the rebate would be about $200, which is 2,000 pennies. Um, to only electric utility uh, ratepayers. And while the funds returned are really a small fraction of the total uh, amount of the re regressive impact the CCA has had on Washington residents, um, the first thing this amendment does is require that uh, that $200 or 2,000 pennies be returned on or before October 15th, 2024. And the reason for that is to not influence the election or create some perception that this rebate is buying a vote. Um, that's really important to make sure that uh, if we're going to return uh, rebated funds uh, that are due in part caused by the CCA increasing costs uh, to heat homes and, and, and the energy used in homes, that it should be done in a way that protects uh, those ratepayers and also doesn't uh, create that, I think, would be uh, a, a perception that it's going to influence the election. The other thing is that this amendment does, it also includes gas uh, users. Uh, there are 1.3 million uh, households that rely on natural gas as a uh, primary or secondary energy source to heat homes. Um, many, especially in my community, Madam Speaker, are, are that are in a marginalized community or a community that still use natural gas, were the hardest hit by the impacts of the Climate Commitment Act. And so adding 1.3 million uh, gas users or natural gas users to the ability to receive a rebate uh, because they were impacted by CCA I think is only appropriate. Another thing this amendment does, it also uh, would take out language that references uh, the Climate Commitment Act and force utilities to use specified language to that point. I think that, that again, uh, that language uh, would also impact the elections and those people who I think we want to preserve those votes as best we can to make sure that this is truly about the CCA and not about anything else. Uh, too many of my neighbors are struggling, Madam Speaker, um, whether they use electric, electric as a utility or gas, uh, and the people who are hurt the most by this regressive policy are the people who can least afford it. They're on fixed incomes, they're seniors, and while I would hope that this amount would be much more than $200, Madam Speaker, uh, at least what we should do is make sure it all goes at once and it goes uh, in October 15th or before. Um, like I said, I, I think that this $200 is just a fraction of the impact of this regressive policy, but again, uh, it should be something that is done before October 15th uh, to make sure that uh, we don't have this perception of political influence with this money. So with that, I would ask for a yes vote. 